I think about her all the time now. She who lived alone in the woods, ten years plus. She who befriended bears. She who biographized chickens. She who communed with the animals and wasn't afraid to eat them. I saw her for the first time in a film, 100 years ago. She was giving birth. I saw her child come out head first, just a blip, the mother of the avant-garde. She spoke of birds. She had driven for years, lived in her car. She inhabited the mountains of my childhood. She was entirely self-sufficient, self-contained, alone but never lonely. I wished I could be her. I wished I could travel back in time. I wished I could drive. She lived at the top of the mountain. No electricity, no running water, just a ham radio, some dried fruit and some nuts. She read and she wrote. She loved science, but she knew its limits. She spoke of how, to study the birds, the scientists had to kill them first, so as to draw them with tender precision. I didn't ask, but she must have known how to hunt. She seemed to know how to do everything, and yet her presence reminded me of the futility of mastery. I couldn't wait until I was 80. I wanted to be like Jane.